Hello. This unit's on Project Management Office, or a PMO. Now, a PMO is a team, a department, or a business unit that sets, maintains, and ensures standards for project management. And if you're in a large organization that does a lot of projects, it's highly recommended that you start a project management office. So what are the roles and responsibility of a project management office? It stores all project documents, it tracks existing projects, and it aligns projects with corporate culture and operational process assets. The project management office also allows the sharing of resources. Because it coordinates all the projects, it can actually coordinate resources more effectively. It can identify and develop project management standards and best practices, which then they can train or coach project team members on. And it can provide governance and oversight for all project teams. Now, there are three types of project management offices. There's supportive. Supportive means they're there when you need them but they basically let you do your own thing on your own projects. So, a supportive PMO will store documents, will provide you with templates, will give you advice, but if you don't need them, they won't bother you. A controlling PMO is different. They will be there with all the templates and all the procedures and processes but they will also insist that you use them. So they make sure that you follow the right processes and use the right templates and uh, kind of tells you if you're doing something wrong. And then finally, there's the directive. The directive PMO will actually lead in the management of projects. They take precedence over all project management. Uh, they insist to follow certain procedures and, and, uh, and uh, they direct the project manager in doing it in a certain way. Finally, I'd like to talk about program management and portfolio management. Program management is when uh, there's lots of different projects, but they all are very similar. They're all going in the same direction. For example, uh, let's say you're building 10 houses. Your project, uh, you have 10 projects building 10 different houses. They're all very similar. So you could have a project, uh, sorry, you could have a program manager who is leading all these different projects. That's called program management. And in portfolio management, that is basically uh, in charge of all projects within a company organization, whether they're related or not. So um, they, they, they manage all projects. And so if you have a directive portfolio managing office, this office will not only um, control uh, and direct all projects, but they will do so centrally, centralize it. And that is all for Project Management Office.